Last month, Apple released their new iPad Pro, and for the first time ever, it dished the Lightning port for a USB-C port. Along with that, it came with an 18-watt USB-C power adapter that charges faster than the previously included 12-watt charger. Now what's special about this charger is that it's packing the exact amount of wattage to reach the full potential of fast charging on iPhone 8 and newer iPhones like the 10, 10s, and 10R. The only problem is that it wasn't available for purchase separately until just yesterday, the 5th of December. Previously, you'd have to buy at least a 29 watt MacBook power adapter and a USB-C to lightning cable to get fast charging, which would run you $68 and the extra power you paid for would be for nothing. Now, with the new 18 watt USB-C power adapter for sale separately for only $29, you can get fast charging for quite a bit cheaper. And that's not the end of it. Just last week, Apple informed members of its MFI licensing program that they can now manufacture USB-C to lightning cables, and they started selling new lightning connectors that are able to supply 18 watts of fast charging or up to 15 watts of power with the standard power adapter. The best part about this is that the third-party cables are going to be significantly cheaper than Apple's $19 option, and we should expect to start seeing those cables in early 2019. So what does this mean? Why would Apple allow third-party manufacturers to make these cables? Well, the only logical reason is that they want to saturate the market with USB-C to Lightning cables, and why would they want to do that? They could be preparing something new for next year's iPhones. If they are, then it's possible that the new 18-watt USB-C charger will come with future iPhones, finally ditching that old and slow 5-watt charger. Earlier this year, Apple also released a USB-C Apple Watch charger which will most likely come with next year's Apple Watch if they do make the switch to USB-C for power adapters across all product lineups. There's also the chance that Apple wants to ditch Lightning altogether and switch to USB-C on next year's iPhones, but that's still a little bit of a stretch. Apple did, however, recently start selling USB-C to headphone jack adapters after releasing the 2018 iPad Pro, so if they want to make the switch, they could easily do so. If that does come to pass, Apple could be loosening their USB-C to Lightning licensing rights simply because Lightning will become a legacy port, and it'll make more sense financially to allow third parties to manufacture the cables. Now they're both speculation, and maybe neither will happen, but I personally hope the future iPhones will come with the 18-watt USB-C charger in the box. We've been dealing with these slow 5-watt chargers for far too long now, and there shouldn't be any outrage over the switch from USB-A to USB-C since the market will already be loaded with third-party USB-C power adapters and USB-C to Lightning cables. So what do you think about all this? Do you expect to see this new 18-watt USB-C charger coming with future iPhones, or do you think they'll ditch Lightning for USB-C altogether? Let us know in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.